What's up, guys? Welcome to Freshly Baked Props. As always, I am Tony. Uh, today, I don't have a tutorial for you, but I do have what I'm working on currently. So I figured instead of just showing you what I put together, because this was literally all just trial and error, um, I'll just kind of show you where I am at my current juncture. Um, right now, I'm working on a, a laboratory diorama for just random figures, whether it's uh, uh, Marvel Legends, even He-Man. Um, but I am making a laboratory diorama and I needed all kinds of equipment for it so I just said screw it I'll just make my own obviously I can't take full credit for all of these tanks one of uh, the one on the end was made by a uh, another uh, customizer and I'll shout him out in a second when I get to it but uh, I'm gonna start from this way down I went from cheapest to most expensive and we'll start here this is literally just a cardboard box it was uh, an Amazon box that came I ordered uh, an action figure I think it was uh, one of the GI Joe classifieds and it came in the mail and I just said, this box is a perfect size for like a, a cell, like a containment cell or a containment chamber. Um, and I just started kind of rummaging around with some of the crap that I had in my garage. And I had a bunch of scrap EVA foam, some centroplastic, uh, some uh, PVC caps, uh, vent caps, uh, you know, just crap. And I said, well, maybe, maybe I can build my own gas chamber. And I just took kind of elements like, Captain America or Green Goblin from the first Spider-Man movie and this is kind of what I came up with and uh, I'll show you right now I'll bring this in close so you guys can see uh, we'll start right from the bottom as you can see the uh, the vent and he's I got the chains going through there just so you can stay chained up uh, this will fit obviously up to a nine inch figure I would assume because uh, he man the savage he man's about seven plus inches so if you have a bigger nine inch figure which I do have he'll fit in here too or she um the if you see behind he-man i don't know if you can see it i don't want to open the door the door does open obviously but i don't want to open the door right now um inside i lined it with white eva foam that you could underline with lights and obviously i put some you know i just use this little battery pack light and the wire is going through the back of it and it goes all the way around and just looks like you know when you kick this thing on that he's transforming and it, or whatever and obviously with the vent i'm gonna have a spotlight and a, a, a tube for some fog so the thing will fog up and because of the way the door works i'll open the door now um the way the door works as a it's lined with eva foam but please don't mind my my set here <laughs> it's a small set but right here is a just a rubber lined eva foam and it will keep the smoke can keep the smoke contained inside the tank obviously um, all this other stuff is just decorations i put some pvc pipes on the end to make it look like this the fog will be coming from the floor another one on that end and like i said i just put some antennas this that's an old doc ock a two uh a tentacle from an old figure uh that's a joint container uh, a couple of antennas from a play set my nephew had a walkie talkie antenna and just some random pieces that i glued on a circular uh eva piece of foam and gave it an edge to make it look like, like a flying saucer um but that's that the next one uh, let me just put my camera back here the next one right here is literally made from a was from a Voss water bottle. Uh, the bottom is the cap here, and what I did with this one, if you look here, this tube can come out, and you can put a regular tube in and pump uh, air from the bottom. I used uh, I used this sealant right here, waterproof sealant that can fix pools, or you can make uh, fish tanks with it. And I basically made it waterproof, sealed it up. This is a uh, a camera uh, uh, cap lens type thing, and I just put it on top. And then this is a, an EVA foam coaster from an old coaster set that I had that I threw out, and I just found one. Um, all this is just scrap pieces from uh, just shit I had laying around, some wiring pieces, and I made some of this. It's just a piece of EVA foam and some caps from a broken action figure uh this is again that uh, crochet netting with hot glue like i always do to make keyboard pieces and uh keypad pieces uh these are just little play set pieces for my nephew's toys and uh that's the bottom and then you could just screw it in inside i put a netting so it won't look as uh i know it's very crude at the, at the bottom but i figured it would look like things are settling down because now at the top here now right now the top isn't finished but the top 
is just a bunch of pieces, some EVA foam that I put some details in against some of these little action figure pegs. They, these, these pegs are from like the knees and the elbows. I had some extra pieces laying around, just cut them in half and made them little buttons and popped them on. I think these right here are literally made from a uh, 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 epoxy sculpt. I made little buttons out of epoxy sculpt that came out really good. This is some do-it-yourself straw uh, pieces that I just glued to this little LED light. Now this is where it lights up, obviously. I can't fit my finger in here, so I just use one of these, like a, a pen or something, just to kind of uh, flick the switch. Like you can even use this little wire. And you just turn it on, and then it'll sit, and it'll light the tank. Now, I, I sanded this so it looks uh, frozen, because what I'm going to do with this tank that's lit light up right now is this is going to look like the liquid that connects to this tank that keeps the figure frozen. So I'm going to do like an ice chamber, essentially. So that's what this is. Um, but I'm going to put water in here with some blue uh, food coloring. And again, you can hook a hose to the bottom and blow some air bubbles in here so it'll look like it's bubbling. And if you want to turn on the fog machine and lightly fog this, because I have a very small tabletop fog machine that I bought from a guy in Switzerland. I'll link it in the description below. It's not cheap, but it's pretty fucking cool because he makes his own liquid gel that goes inside the thing and it kind of stays around. It doesn't, it like, uh, it lingers. It doesn't just dissipate like if you use a regular fog machine. Um, but this is that, like I said, this was made out of a Voss water bottle. This, the, 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 the smaller ones. Now, for the top, you have to cut a hole. I cut a little hole in, I drew, drew a little hole in here so that the air, when you pump, bubble air it's not gonna build up pressure and fucking blow the bottle but what i'm thinking about doing is cutting this little ring part out this bottom piece and then making it a cap with some foam that you could just shove back in so that you could put things inside here so if you want to put like a small alien uh, i was thinking uh maybe taking some black hot glue and making it like a symbiote cont uh, containment chamber where the symbiote is like stuck to the glass and stuff like that but again however you want to do it do it your own way. And like I said, if you do it, please send me some pictures. But you could do this out of a fucking bottle. You can make these chambers. They do have bigger Voss bottles. They have smart water bottles. So if you want to get creative and make a cool bottom, you can. You want to put a right side up, put a right side up so you don't have to go crazy with the waterproofing. If you don't want to waterproof it, don't waterproof it. I just thought it would be cool to add water and add air bubbles to it. And that'll bring me to the end because that's really where I got the idea from. This one is my favorite one. This third one. Um, this one... I'm going to just move it up to the front here. Um, this one, I, it was a weird toy from Walmart. I don't remember the name of it, but it's basically this this tank, an alien inside of it that comes out and you could dissect it. It was like a dissection toy for kids. Uh, and Like a weird alien science fiction thing. But the tank was awesome. The tank did not have a bottom though, because that's where the alien came out of. But the top comes off too, so it was such a weird toy. I didn't get it, but I love the tank. So I had this tank for a while. I didn't know what to do with it. And then finally I said, screw it. I finally, I got that waterproof sealant, this guy right here. And I said, screw it. I'm going to try and make this thing waterproof too. So I can blow air bubbles through it just like the other tanks that I have. And not, not too shabby if I do say so myself. This bottom piece right here, I'll just uh, move the, is uh, literally a PVC cap with one inside of it too. The vent cap is literally inside one of these bigger, um, what are those couplings where you could put two EVA poles together you stick them together that's what this is with one <clears throat> vent cap stuffed inside inside that cap has this hose that I waterproof sealed here that runs inside and inside the thing under it I used um, some plexiglass and I could flip that upside down so you could see it so as you can see right here you could see the cap um, and that's just a piece of plexiglass that I waterproof sealed inside inside the tank so that you can shine light under it and the light will come right up from the bottom because this thing lights up pretty fucking awesome. But this computer, made it myself, uh, literally just took a piece of central plastic, some balsa wood, cut it to, to size. That's just a picture I have in it now just as a display picture. But it's going to have like uh, information about the thing in the tank. Um, and I'll explain the guy in the tank in a second. This, again, is a crochet net with the hot glue for buttons to make a keyboard. Um, this is a rubber 3-inch, three, uh, three 4-inch. I think it's a 4-inch rubber PVC cap that I just cut the inside of so this can fit inside of it. 
and then just literally waterproof sealed that to just be safe um then i added all kinds of details these are just more of those uh these are just um those scrapbooking paper clip things with if you put a hole in it and then you fold the back over that's what this is um and that's what i have on on this tank too on this detail too uh this metal screw ring came with the, the rubber guy this is a pc eva foam that i just cut a circle and added details burned some details in added those screws too um and this was gold originally painted it silver the back here i put two hoses here just in case if there was too much water so like if you accidentally over uh, uh, float it water wouldn't come over the top it would just fill into these tubes and maybe create like a a waterfall effect maybe you can siphon it and create a waterfall effect if, if i wanted to i don't know um but then you can just take these out they come right out and you turn this guy he comes off and then inside it i put i made a basically basically like a cyborg type thing which is basically just one of those very very cheap wwe figures that have like limited to no articulation um this was a john cena figure uh, i have the ultimate john cena figure so i didn't need this one anymore and i beat him up put some some scarring on them, some details to make it look like they basically turned him into this. The rebreather mask that he's wearing, I made myself out of a uh, epoxy sculpt. I put cellophane plastic over John's head, and I just sculpted the mask over the cellophane plastic. When it dried, cellophane came right out. These little wires is just leather, uh, leather cording that you can get at Michaels or Hobby Lobby, and I wrapped uh, clear uh, uh, twist ties around them to make it look like wire me. The little pads that are on his chest, also made from epoxy sculpt, and I just drilled a hole inside them and drilled and stuck a wire inside them, and then I drilled holes into to the Cena figure and just stuck them inside the holes, because like I said, this figure is useless now anyway. But uh, I figured I'd go with like, kind of like uh, experimentation of humans and trying to create like a human cyborg type thing, so that's what they did to poor Johnny Cena there. Um, the last one, I can't take full credit for. So the last one we got here, which is the Wolverine containment, chank, uh, containment chamber or containment tank, whatever you want to call it, um, is made by a friend of mine uh, by the name of J Dallas James. It's his Instagram. I'll, I'll link his description below. I don't know if he still makes these, but he used to make these a while ago, and I was one of the first ones to kind of snab these things before he I don't know, before he stopped making them. I don't, know, I don't know. Like I said, if he still makes them, you should buy them. They're pretty awesome. But he basically doesn't come with all this extra shit and i didn't paint it for that reason i wanted you to just see um i added all the extra crap because as cool as it is he just kind of does the inside so like the inside has cool details it has wolverine and has the little bubbler and stuff like that like if you look at this one the hose is behind wolverine and it comes in from the top so it feeds to the bottom to that black cap right there under wolverine which will then bubble up so that's pretty cool that's where i got the idea from so thank you, Dallas. That you were basically the inspiration for all of these containment chambers that I made today, or over these last couple of weeks, I should say. Um, but like I said, it was just a black tank. There's nothing inside. There was nothing on top of it. There's, so it was kind of very, it's very plain on the outside. It didn't look like a containment chamber. It just literally looked like Wolverine was in a fish tank. So uh, I was just like, as you know, as cool as the inside looks, I want the outside to look as cool. So I added a bunch of details to it. As you could see, I made the eva foam base that it, the tank now stands on made some uh little like piping that goes inside to it make it look like that's where the bubbles are coming from um i just put some buttons and stuff on the tank so like if the tank ever broke you know an engineer would come and fix it same thing with the top the top if you see those blue caps i'm gonna put some rubber hoses that will go up to make it look like they're connected to a like a insane uh, electrical system that powers all these things um, i'm gonna do the same thing with the other tank too next to it um, but like I said, I can't take full credit. I just decorated the tank. The tank was made by uh, Dallas James. He put all the stuff on the inside. He mounted Wolverine inside of it, and uh, he made the mask for Wolverine, uh, which he told me was made from a uh, Star Lord uh, head. He just took Star Lord's head. He cut the the rebreather part of the mask off, and then kind of just cut him out and added it to Wolverine's face. Um, but there you have it. You can make these tanks easily. These two literally the easiest box an amazon box a voss water bottle this might be a little expensive now because i don't know if they make this toy anymore so if you find it at like a clearance or if you find it at, at a walmart or target pick it up you don't have to fill it with water like i want to put water in it but you don't have to you can just put a bottom to it 
make sure the bottom's clear you can shine light through it and just paint it because this part this this whole part was clear it's the same as this is but i painted all this same thing with this this was gold and i just painted it and it was a shit gold that's why i painted it um but you don't have to fill water in. just put a bottom in it and you don't have to put that cap in then you could just stand a figure in there but right now the way it stands i could probably fit a whole uh uh, those three and three quarter figures I, I forgot what what size those what scale that is but you could probably fit those in the whole body in there no problem so if you have those collections you collect the small like the original gi joe figures or like the, the new uh, vintage uh, star wars figures and you want a, a bat the tank for, for, for uh, mando or uh, boba fed or Dar darth vader this is an awesome way to go like i said i don't know how pricey it's going to be because i just checked on walmart and on Walmart, it's they're selling for seventy dollars now. I don't know why. It was nine dollars when I bought it. I have two of them, and they both look like this now. But they were nine dollars when I bought them, so I seventy dollars is crazy. Um, that tank. If you can get in touch with Dallas Jones and have him, uh, Dallas James. I'm sorry. If you can get in touch with Dallas James and have him make that for you, it's a great purchase. Um, you can take Wolverine out too. They, they all come out. So like John Cena comes out of that tank. Uh, Wolverine comes out of that tank. Obviously, He-Man will come out of this tank. But you could switch them out. You could put Superman in it. You could put Goku in it. You could put, like I said, you could put any Star Wars figures in it. So if you like these kind of things and you like the, the water feature, that with the, the end one, I'd go with because the end one is meant for water. These these two, you're going to have to waterproof. Like I said, unless you just put this one right side up and you don't want to blow bubbles to it. But if you want to blow bubbles to it, you're going to have to waterproof it. And it's not that hard. You just get that sealant from Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware Store, whatever hardware store you get, just get that waterproof seal and you'll be all right. I will say, make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area because that crap sticks and it will give you a headache. It will it will mess you up. it mess you up pretty good. So if you're going to use that waterproof sealant, I highly recommend in a well-ventilated area because it, it messes with your head. Um, other than that, this thing was so easy. It, it was just really a, a pleasure to do this kind of stuff this tank i've been wanting to do some detail to it for a very long time i've had this tank for a few years now i bought it from dallas a few uh back in like 2019 i, I know 2020 i bought it. i'm not sure when it was when he started making them but as soon as he started making them i bought them so i've had it for a while and it's just been sitting on my shelf and and, and kind of collecting dust because it was very plain and i just didn't know what to do with it and now that i'm dusting off uh uh some dioramas and i'm trying to shoot it uh shoot more frequently i wanted to kind of give it it's it's just do and, and decorate it and give it the proper the proper look of a containment tank um it's all scrap pieces all just crap that i had right laying around my house i didn't really buy anything you don't have to buy things when you make this kind of stuff just look at some scrap piles look at some just weird toys that your kids don't play with or you 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 your nephews or whatever they don't play with and uh just go to town go to that's the point of this shit is just have fun man like this tank right here is far from done like i gotta add something from the side i'm gonna add some wiring on the sides and add some paneling on the sides because it gotta look like you gotta be able to access it got a bit of breaks somebody can fix it or something um i'm gonna add some more wiring to the top too um but in terms of lighting everything is done everything is done on these tanks um like i said the lighting would be at the bottom on this guy that tank does light up too that's a feature that comes with the tank there's two buttons in the front one button turns on the light and another button i think toggles the light so whatever or it turns on the it's like a small water thing inside that pushes the water around but the real money maker is the bubbler that dallas james put inside of it. and like i said he was the inspiration for these tanks um i while i see why he made the the bottom plug where the air comes out that way i wouldn't do it that way i would do it the way i did it on this tank because it's recessed and you can't really see the vent and i think that's a cooler feature that's just my personal preference if you like it that way like i said nothing wrong with that but if you want that i would like i said reach out to dallas james again i'll link his description below um but that's all the time i have today guys uh, thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe please share this video move me up in this algorithm because i'm trying to get up on that level with the bigger boys here at the uh toy the, 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 in the toy world um this has been freshly big props uh, i am tony uh, enjoy my tanks and have a nice day